Hey, my name is Rachel Mayer. Um, I'm an athletic trainer with Vereen Center and I work with athletes at Worth County High School. So it's my second year with Vereen um, and last year I learned a lot. Um, to take into this year I learned how to be more independent um, and more confident in my clinical decision making skills, especially now being the only athletic trainer at the school. So I've learned to trust my instincts and never ask, never be afraid to ask for help. Um, but at the end of the day, um, just trust in myself and know that I'm capable and I can do it. <laughs> So I have to be uh, a little bit more deliberate uh, in my evaluations now because of uh, the coronavirus um, epidemic and things like that. So a lot more history questions and kind of figuring out is there a way to do it virtually or getting them to be in touch with their bodies and telling me a little bit more about it so I don't have to have that hands-on as much. Um, but also just those safe practices and making sure there's only one or two kids in the athletic training room at a time, wearing the masks, sanitizing tables, um, and just a little bit more of an individualized approach than just kind of everybody all at once. So it's definitely an uncertain time um, and I can understand people being apprehensive about joining the medical field or doing anything in healthcare, especially right now. Um, but at the end of the day, they need caring people that are willing to put other people before themselves. So we're out here, all the athletic trainers doing it every day. We're working with those kids. We're the ones, the frontline workers with them. Um, they might not have another access to uh, medical treatment uh, at that point in time. So really, um, you got to take it to heart and see if you want to be that person um, to put all those other kids um, above yourself. 